guys, and welcome to my Gilmore Girls Readathon TBR. I am so excited for it. My shirt says, I don't know if you can see it, but it says, I was meant to live in Stars Hollow. Well, it's a dress. Um, so I had to put it on, get it out, and put it on for you. <laughs> Uh, but I was so excited. I think I saw it on Bookable's channel. I love watching her on YouTube, so I'll go ahead and link it down below and all the questions. Um, I think you can do a bingo or you can do, like, um, questions. But I love Gilmore Girls. I think at one point I made cookies on this channel before. I'll link it up above, above Luke's cookies. I'm obsessed with Gilmore Girls. I, every time I get sick, I was sick in September. I literally, I was sick for a period, a while. I literally rewatched all of it, so obsessed with Gilmore Girls. I'm here for it. I'm so excited for it. All right. It's very fall and autumnal. It seems like later in fall we're doing this, but it is November 15th through the 22nd. So this week, and these are the books I chose. <laughs> um, they're not very fall autumnal books, but they were kind of hard to match them. And there were some books I really wanted to read. So book set in a small town. I have two who I believe both of these are set in a small town. But this one, Evie Drake, Evie Drake Starts Over by Linda Holmes. This was on my November TBR. So this is about a girl who relationship problems. She's a widow. She's starting over. And then I think he is making a career move. The guy is starting over. It is set in a small town. Uh, and I think this might be filling some other prophecy here. And then the next one is, do you have an autumnal transition book? Nope, that's not it. Okay. The next one was read a book about mother and daughter. I've always wanted to read Elizabeth Stout's My Name is Lucy Barton. I It's a very popular, famous book, and I think I even have the second book in the series, and it's short, it's fast, it's quick, so I'm here for it. And I know it's about a mother-daughter relationship, I believe. Lucy's covering from an operation. Her mom comes to visit her, who she hasn't seen in years. At in fall and winter, so I chose Castle in the Clouds. Um, by Kirsten Gear. This one I started reading, so I just want to finish reading it. So it's a good week to finish reading it. But I know it's set partially during winter. It's like this weird little uh, place up in this little place. Um, I think where they they ski and stuff. But it's about a girl who's nannying there. Next one is about a complicated love interest, which I believe this one is a complicated love interest. They both are getting over some huge dramas in their life, as I said earlier. One is. Uh, by an Asian author to represent Kim or an Asian based story, which I think these both are. Um, but yeah, this is the second in the series of China Rich Girlfriend. The second in the series after Crazy Rich Asian. This is Ch China Rich Girlfriend and I started it a long time ago and never finished it. So this is a good time to finish it. This is a bit of a slower read. So I, hopefully I can get through it. The last one is Bake a Fall Treat, which I'll probably definitely do. It's the week before Thanksgiving. Um, and then read a book in a series you haven't finished. That's definitely this one still. So uh, yeah, I haven't finished this one, but it's a good thing to repick it up and finish the series because I think there's a third one too as well that I own that I'll have to finish as well. But yeah, those are my books. I think I had to add one book in here to finish out the challenge. Just four books to read in a week, which is kind of a lot of reading for one week. Well, like all books like this. So maybe I'll have to get one of them on audio. Uh, yeah, but that's, those are my challenges fulfilled, hopefully. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys next time.